Hey you guys, it's Celeste. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is how I made my black lady, wicked lady, dark lady, whatever kind of lady you want to call her, wig. Now I'm going to do a voiceover because my talking in this video was absolute nonsense. So let's get started. This is just a wig piece of a hair bun by Arda Wigs, which is going to make life easier for this tutorial. Here I am just showing you the prongs on the inside and giving you a nice look. These prongs are going to come in really helpful later. Here I'm just removing the stuffing and I went to Michael's Craft Store and I purchased a floral cone foam thing. You'll be able to see it in the floral aisle. Anyways, here I am just adjusting the hair bun to the cone just to get an idea of the size that I'm going to want to do so it can match with the size of the one that I did and my hair bun started falling apart so don't mind me trying to fix it. We're going to style it a lot later. So here I am just cutting it so it is the exact length and shape and all that kind of stuff that I need it to be. I'm going to go ahead and apologize because after this, all my footage got lost because my camera decided to die on me. So what I ended up doing was taking those prongs of the hair bun that I showed you guys earlier and sticking those inside of the floral cones so I had extra stability. Then I just took hot glue and secured it down even more and covered the hair over whatever parts of the foam were showing. Here I'm just sectioning off about an inch, maybe an inch and a half of hair between the original pigtail and my pigtail. And as you see, my wig was not wanting to sit up because I don't have a wig stand, so you guys get the idea. I'm just going to section her off. This was terrifying. So I apologize for my head being in the way a lot. Um, I was live streaming this, so I was trying to get it from all directions and I failed miserably. So what we're going to do is we are going to cut where I'm cutting. Just make sure to get it as clean of a cut as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're just going to go in later and we're going to hot glue it and cover it up with some more hair. This is just giving you a nice base for what we're going to do later. It was a really thick wig by Arda Wigs and it was terrifying cutting this because I've never ever ever done my own wig before. So this was a learning experience. And there you are, we have this short little nubby stub. That's right, I said it, a nubby stub. So now I'm just grabbing some hot glue and it is time to glue this base down. This seals in any hairs that are loose and this also, like I said, is going to help create a nice tough base. I was having all sorts of technical difficulties with this video. Apparently my camera decided to zoom out Anyways, here I am just spreading that hot glue all over the hairs and fibers just to get it an even coat and I'm using a little uh, screwdriver just because, you know, I burned myself multiple times making this wig. Yeah, my fingers still hurt and this was a few days ago. So Arda Wigs also has those typical like clip-in ponytail pigtail things. So all I'm doing is taking the clip out. Uh, if you want something super simple, honestly, you could just clip those on top of your nubs and you're done pretty much and then you just have to add it. However, I wanted to tie mine on because I thought it gave it a much more realistic and cleaner look. When you have it off of the clip, make sure that you cut it in half without cutting the actual hairs. You're going to cut the mesh. So as you see, or well, saw for a very brief moment because I'm not even paying attention to the YouTube video that's recording. <sighs> I cut it in half so I could tie one on top and tie one on bottom so it had a lot better look in my opinion. Here I am tying the bottom half of it. So as you see what I mean about having a nice sturdy base, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just taking this and wrapping it around and then later I'm just going to cut the excess elastic off. I'm literally going to take the other half and put it on top and wrap the elastic around. So then you're going to have a nice formed pigtail bun looking thing. Yes, girl, and there she is. So here I am just literally hot gluing some hair 
clips. I don't know why I didn't remember the name of them. I am just going to be hot gluing these hair clips to the bottom of the foam and holding it there until it is dry. Then I don't style the wig in this video, but what I'm going to end up doing is taking that gotta be glue hairspray and forming everything to look a lot neater. And then I'm going to be curling the bangs according to how her bangs look. So I may or may not be able to do that in my vlog that I'll be doing for Anime Midwest, which is where I will be debuting this lovely, lovely lady. But besides that, she is done once you add these clips to it. You know what I'm saying? Once the clips are in place, all you gotta do is put the buns on top. I was struggling a little bit because I put way too much hair so it's too thick. And let's just admire that the back of my hat says death and the back of my shirt says hate. Gotta love Whitechapel and Carnifex, keeping the positivity as you can tell. Here we have my snake charming mating dance thing. I'm not sure what's going on here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys at Anime Midwest, but until then, bye guys.